welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Hannah and I'm the mom with muscle. And in today's video, I'm doing a pantry makeover. So if this is something that you are interested in watching, just keep on watching. But if you have not already though, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, I would love to have you over at mom with muscle. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So I have not done a organizational type video here on my channel, but I have been walking past my pantry and has been driving me crazy, you guys. Our pantry, like I will state in my video, is rather on the large side. So it has kind of become this like junk drawer, if that makes sense. I know everybody has a junk drawer in their kitchen. Our pantry has just kind of come a keep all for things that we don't want to see. It's been, there's gift wrap, there's cleaning supplies, there's garden utensils. I mean, there's everything in there and it has just become so messy, which is totally not my character. I'm very organized. I like things very neat and tidy in my home. So I was like, you know what? let's do it so i got onto amazon i ordered a bunch of different type of items to help me organize between baskets and containers and different things to help my project become a little bit more organized as well as more aesthetically pleasing so everything that i have purchased will be linked down below but this has been a project that i have been wanting to do for the longest time so i was like you know what let's do it so i filmed my pantry before and after so i hope you guys enjoy and yeah without further ado let's get into this video so before we get started on the actual organizing i just wanted to show you guys everything that i have picked up for this project so i picked up multiple different wicker baskets in different sizes i have different glass containers with seal proof lids these are as well all seal proof just different variations so these are the bamboo lids this is just the black wood lid and then these are black tin i'll have everything linked in my description box but i have just a variety of different heights um, different sizes, more of those uh, glass containers. These are going to be for my spices. This is just a bamboo kind of rack of some sort. That is a canned rack in black uh, wrought iron, and then just a variety of different wicker baskets, uh, cloth baskets. So just that way there's dimension and there's different texture and different sizes, different heights, but I just wanted to show you what it is that we are working with prior to getting started on this project. So there is the items. All right, so here's the before. One thing I love about this pantry is it's massive, but what comes with that is it's become kind of a keep all for items that we don't necessarily need in here. There's cleaning supplies, there's t uh, you know tablecloths. It's just kind of like a become a drop station for items that we want to hide. So. I am going to be spending all day today organizing this, but I wanted to show you guys the before of this pantry. And then I'll show you guys the after when it's all done. section and then I'm going to clean the tops of the actual shelving units themselves and then I am going to work my way through so there's section one all cleaned and ready to go so let's start organizing okay so the first thing I'm going to be doing for this section is we get all of our paper towels from Trader Joe's because we like to buy in bulk obviously but I hate this exterior so I'm actually going to unwrap all of the paper towels and have them stationed up top ready to go for grab and go so that's going to be the first step it's all about aesthetics you guys should know this by now so i'm doing the spice racks first i'm going to be in the same spot with my spice racks but i picked this up on amazon because it's taller so it actually allows for you to see the name of the spice whereas the one i had before the ones behind would get hidden so I picked this up, again, I'm trying to bring in black and kind of a wood tone throughout uh, this pantry makeover. And I counted, I have about 30 different spices, so I knew I had to order two of these racks in order to accommodate all of these spices. <laughs> Thank you. 
right, so obviously I had to do a part two. I have to do a part two because I ran out of time. I had to go pick up Miss Ryder, as well as I only have so much time with this one that she gives me. So you guys will notice that some of it's at night and some of it is during the day. So I honestly did not know how long this was going to take me to do. I'm about halfway done, maybe, but it's like going through expired food. It's uh, transferring packaged foods into glass containers and also, I'm reconfiguring the whole pantry and how the flow of it goes. So I have kind of had to think of how I want it organized. So I will be showing you guys tonight me finishing organizing the pantry. So stay tuned. Say hi, YouTube. So I have a ton of this like extra type decor, like cake stands, little tiers for serving purposes. So I'm going to be utilizing this space in the back to house all of the kind of different serving bottles and cake stands and whatnot. So that is where all that is gonna be going. So I'm slowly working on the back side of it again. This is kind of accumulated different things like <laughs> paint supplies, table linens, our back stock of like plastic bags. So just trying to get it a little bit more organized, but we are almost there you guys, almost. today's video I hope you guys enjoy like I said this this has been a long project in the making it honestly took me all day as you guys will see there were two different clips I did part of it in the daytime part of it at nighttime when the girls were sleeping I honestly had no idea that this was going to be an all-day affair between going through expired food putting things away t you know tossing things putting things where they're supposed to be it was an all-day affair and honestly I am so happy with how it turned out. I walk in there and I just feel so much more like peace and like awe and just now I feel like I can enjoy my pantry a little bit more because I actually enjoy going in there whereas before it seemed just like a headache. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you guys like organizational videos. I, again, I've never done one of these on my channel so I'm not really sure how you guys enjoy them. If you do, if you don't, sound off in the comments down below. But that is it. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.